Hello there. It's pretty late here, but I said to myself I will regret it if I don't make this video today. Uh, today I want to talk about, just briefly to talk about freedom. What it means, what it is and how to go in direction to achieve it. Um, do you remember as uh, you were a kid, you were not thinking much about life or in, in fu for the future, like what is going to be, how it's going to happen and so on. And you were more into the feelings and your imagined world, which was almost like real. And you just wanted to play, you know. That was the only thing, the only thing you uh, cared about is how am I gonna play today, with whom, and how long, and whatever. You were not thinking much, you were not having so, so many opinions about the life, so many uh, beliefs, uh, which are mostly not yours. You didn't pick up that many beliefs, you, your, your head was pretty clear pretty empty, so to say, and the only thing you wanted to do is to just to find the place, to find something to play with, and that was all. And the only thing you didn't like was to be stopped or taken away from whatever you were doing. The freedom is basically then, as you grow up a bit, it's almost the same thing. You don't want to be distracted by, by time, by your obligations, and you want to, your life to be just that, to express whatever feels good to you, to do whatever feels good to you, and unlimited. What I learned on my own is the short uh, sentence that I wrote uh, just uh, half an hour ago. And it goes like this. The only regret that you will have at the end of every given situation is that you believed that that fear was stronger than you. So if you ask the old people what kind of regrets they have, is usually about not being brave enough to go for the things they wanted to go for. And at the end of their lives, when they don't have the time and energy to do it, then become regret. Because at that time, they had an energy, they had the time, but they didn't do it. So, everyone can know what they want to do. You can know what you want to do. Uh, and the problem number one, I think, is believing that it has to be hard. Having that belief that in your head that it has to be very, very hard to, to do that and to achieve it and to go for it. Um, which is most of the time it's not true. 99% of that is not true. It's just those bullsh, you know, what you're having in your head, <laughs> which is not yours, you picked it up somewhere in a way. And the second thing is, the only solution in that is to be brave, as in this sentence that I wrote, or what older people say, uh, regretting that, the regrets that they have, uh, just not having the bravery, not being brave enough to go for it till the end. If you don't go for it, you will never get the feedback. You will never get knowing that it is possible, that you can do it. So the only option is actually uh, being brave enough. Bravery is the only option. Just to go for it and to do it. There is no other way. There is a there is a I encourage you to start working yourself to build more 
of who you are so that you're living the truth and you're living the truth and just start going for it for whatever freedom for you is whatever uh, you love to do uh, you will get the first feedbacks from your action and that means that you will understand that that is possible and there that moment when you got that the, when you got that conclusion that is possible you get excitement you know that's what you're looking for actually you're looking for the for exciting things to do exciting things and when you find when you when you have uh, did the first step when the first step was done you get understanding that is possible and you get excited and you, you want to do it even more and that's how it starts and you, you cannot stop it and you should never stop it and you don't need permission for it to go for it um, till the end and to do it again in some other different way you don't need anyone's permission to do it and you, sh you should just go for it.